Let's uh, check out the high temperatures we had today. The marine layer fully in force here west of the Cascades and kept Portland down to 75. Salem made it up to 80. I will show you why the five degree difference in just a second. 60s on the coast, but Redmond still 99. Over in Hermiston, 98. Ontario, 105. John Day and Baker City, both 98. So you can see still very hot over there. And were it not for thunderstorms and the clouds that they have generated, it would have been even hotter. Speaking of clouds, uh, no shortage of those along the Oregon coast, but it looks like they're thinning out at Newport, 61 degrees there right now. You can watch that thinning process, and this is why Salem is five degrees warmer than Portland. Just simply clear it out sooner, so they got sunshine where we were so cloudy. Our clouds are thinning right now, and that process will continue during the evening hours. Now the thunderstorms over in eastern Oregon. You can see them here developing. Yesterday they were moving east to west. Today they're moving slowly to the north as the pattern has changed just a bit, and these will continue to fire up for the next few hours. Then around sunset they will die down once again, but they have produced some beneficial rains in spots. Unfortunately, they're also producing some lightning. Cool looking uh, imagery from our sky cam up at Timberline Lodge looking south at Mount Jefferson and you can see the smoke out there from some of the fires. But then look here. See that that's the top of the marine layer. That's the top of the cloud layer that we were looking at at the bottom of all day long. Just some fingers of it coming through the Cascade Passes. And if you look closely, you can see that westerly wind pushing it from west to east. So again, an interesting view displaying our weather up at Timberline, where it's 68 degrees at Timberline Lodge in the beautiful Mount Hood National Forest. There at 6,000 feet. Here's Doppler radar. You can see these storms here and developing a little farther south than where they did yesterday. Pendleton had rain yesterday a little bit. Same up in Lostine, and we're going to get some decent rainfall amounts underneath these storms. It's pretty limited where you get the rain, but at least there is some to go along with those lightning strikes that we're dealing with, and we'll continue to watch the Blue Mountains, see if anything pops there again this afternoon. In the big picture, there's a storm system out here. It doesn't really do anything to us. Lots of high pressure along the West Coast, but it's not that brutally hot high pressure that brought us the unprecedented temperatures over the weekend and on Monday. Now tonight, look, the valley's cleared out, so our clearing process continues. We'll get the clouds solidifying a bit in the morning, but then they break up and we're in for lots of sunshine tomorrow. Back into the 80s there. The coast will have morning clouds and afternoon sun. There's just enough onshore flow or at least a northwesterly wind to keep us from really seeing those temperatures zoom back up into the 90s. In Portland right now it's 72, just great, even though the freezing level is still very high at 16,400 feet. On the coast of Oregon, partly sunny after morning clouds. Highs will be in the 60s. Lows will be in the 50s. In the valleys, we're looking at temperatures um, in the 80s, mid to upper 80s here, and becoming mostly sunny with lows in the 50s. Up in the Cascades, mostly sunny, freezing level 16,000 feet, and about 75 at Government Camp tomorrow. So warming up, but not brutally so. If the Cascades are your 4th of July destination, we're going to have good weather for you this weekend. Areas of haze and smoke in eastern Oregon. Notice tomorrow, no thunderstorms in the forecast, so it's going to get hot again. 98 Pendleton, 97 Bend, and 96 in LeGrand. For the Gorge, west winds, good west winds, kite borders, wind surfers up to about 30. Temperatures in the 80s, the Dallas, of course, in the 90s. And partly cloudy tonight in Portland, then becoming sunny tomorrow with high of 83. We go 87 for Saturday and Sunday the 4th, Monday 85. Notice there's no 90s in that 7 day forecast. I do no rain, but there's no 90s. It wasn't long ago, 87 felt hot to me, though. We're right, you see 87 <laughs> right. and you think, oh, it's going to be hot. And it's but, all about perspective, right? Man. We're not going to yeah. miss the